What up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends video and what I have for you today is... Well, I really don't know what I have for you today. I guess call it an unboxing video. I meant to review these before, but I just never got around to it. So, well, we'll just unbox them here. You know, I'll give you my thoughts and we'll kick back and chat and all that good stuff. If you're noticing something new, it's because there is something new. Yes, you see it right here on my arm? I got my very first tattoo. I'm so freaking pumped for this. Uh, so basically, it is the House of X, X-Men logo and then my name in the Krokoan letters. So I, I just loved in House of X. I was so obsessed with the Krokoans and stuff like that. And um, when they came out with the pre-order bonus for trading cards, I forgot for which comic, it came with a card that had the Krokoan alphabet letters. And I'm like, oh man, this is so cool. And this X logo was on that exact same trading card. And I'm like, oh, all right, this is so dope. I got an idea. I really want... Uh, something that represents me. So, you know, I obviously you guys know I love the X-Men, right? That is and forever will be my shit. So it had to be something X-Men. It had to be something very meaningful as it should be for any first tattoo. So yeah, it just, you know, with the X logo being here and then my name in Krakoan letters, it just reads x Manny downwards. My friends, all of my friends knew I was a big X-Men fan. So they always called me x Manny. you know, so, you know. Hey, I gotta get, I, I gotta get a tattoo of it, right? So, <laughs> uh, it's not done yet. It's not completed. So as you can see, uh, the Wolverine claw slashes are here, and what is going to be the final product is Colossus's. Excuse me, Colossus steel skin is going to be seeping through these claws. So it's gonna be done in like a chrome paint. I know it's very 90s style, uh, but it is uh, making a strong comeback in the world of tattooing. So, you know, I love my 90s, so I think that's gonna really pop. Uh, you're gonna see all the like claws and the steel skin and the logo all interact with each other. So I'm so pumped I go back, what, June 1st to complete it. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be a sick concept. I'm in love with it so far. Like, I know it's not even finished, and I'm just in love with it, and I'm going to be even more in love with it when I get this fully finished. So yeah, right now it's on the, you know, it's, it's going through the peeling stage, so that's just my skin healing. So, you know, I can't wait to, you know, get past that, because uh, I gotta keep washing it. But yeah, man, I'm like super stoked for this. I love it. And the reason why I picked this logo, well, I told you guys it was because it was on the trading card, but uh, the colors, it's red and yellow. And I figured, oh, if I'm going to have Colossus's steel skin exposed, I want it to have, you know, his same color scheme, which is the red and yellow. And, you know, Wolverine, those are some of my two favorite X-Men, Wolverine being my favorite X-Men member. And then you know, uh, Colossus, I just love those two together, the fastball special, man, uh, it's gonna look so dope, I do want something with my Magneto, you know, I love Magneto, he is my favorite X-Men character of all time, so yeah, I just want to share that with you, if you guys saw my interview with the Marvel Legends Hasbro team, uh, I hope you checked it out, if you haven't, I'll probably leave a link in the description below, but it's my very last video, so, that was a lot of fun, and I uh, just want to address one thing. Um, I know a lot of people were pissed off that I didn't mention anything about the price. Uh, so, you know, with their PR team, they have strict rules. Y y they tell you right off the bat that you can't ask questions about pricing or financials or entertainment-specific questions. So, um, you know, I was getting attacked by a lot of people in the comment section, uh, and and I'm like, yo, that's not cool. I don't make the prices. I totally understand. You know, I, I'm I'm not cool with the price hike either. I'm just I'm not a fan of it. So, man, I was put in a tough spot. You know, because again, I have a good partnership with Hasbro, and I didn't want to like ruin that by you know saying. You know, just bringing that up. So, I do got to give kudos to Shardimus Prime. Even though he it wasn't a question, he did stated that, uh, you know, a lot of people in the line are going to tap out with the price increase. So, I know he didn't state it as a question. He stated it as a statement, um, which I felt like I should have done. But that doesn't mean, like, I can't fight for you guys or anything. You know, this, I'm definitely going to, you know, do my part, you know, behind the scenes. And, you know, for that... 
interview, I just wanted to focus on the um, the live stream for their reveals. Um, I had a lot of other questions that I wanted to ask, but couldn't get to them. Like, for instance, Toad and that Venom. My God, I was so mad at myself when looking back at it. I was just like, why didn't I freaking talk about Venom instead of that Spider-Man Noir? But then I really wanted to know if that Spider-Man Noir had the T'Challa body because once I saw he came with an alternate head, I'm like, that was a problem with my T'Challa. The Star-Lord T'Challa was that the neck peg kept popping off the head uh, with the head when trying to swap it. So... Uh, that was just very annoying. I think that was like my worst Marvel Legends figure last year. So I just wanted to know that wasn't going to be an issue. So, um, but yeah, going back to the price hike stuff, you know, guys, I'm, I'm just, again, I don't make the prices. There's a professional way of doing it. You know, I'll do it diplomatically. But yeah, I just want y'all to know, like, it, it wasn't that I'm not trying to fight for y'all or anything like that, you know, because again, I... I love Marvel Legends. I'm a I'm a diehard Marvel Legends fan till I die. <laughs> Guess well, that's one of the reasons for being a diehard fan. Um, so yeah, when I get stupid comments like that, or you know, saying I'm a sellout, which is the most ridiculous thing. I mean, if you saw my first video of YouTube, it was a Marvel Legends review. Basically, my channel was basically all Marvel Legends reviews, so I'm not a sellout if I was doing it from the very beginning, you know? This was something I was deep into when the first line came out in 2002, so um, the price increase I know is happening everywhere, uh, not just with figures. Um, I know Hasbro did a drastic change. And it's not just Hasbro. Other toy companies too. Look at NECA. Look at their Gargoyles line. You know, they these figures, NECA's used to be like $30 a pop. Now, when, well, I went to Target the other day. The Mono's like $42, $43.99. Plus tax is going to hit like $45, $46 or whatever. Depending where you live. Um, and, you know, the rest of that Gargoyles line is going to be over $40, you know. You can praise McFarlane all you want for keeping the prices down to, what, $24.99. That's a Build-A-Figure Wave. That's the same price as a Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure Wave is a $24.99. Um, I won't be surprised if he uh, raises his price too. And don't give me that crap where like, oh, no, McFarlane is never going to do that. He's for the people, man. You don't know what I know about that guy, especially one of my friends who uh, used to work for him. He doesn't care. He doesn't listen to the fans or anything. So if DC is probably going to, you know, I'm pretty sure DC is going to tell him to hike up the price. And it's not his fault, no matter if he's a private or public company. Um, yeah, he's private. So, uh, you know, I, I don't want to pretend here and sit like I know. Uh, if he's going to raise the price or not. Let's just say I won't be surprised. But um, anyway, I, I, I gave up on his stuff because something about his figures, it just didn't it didn't flow with me. Yeah, they were nice sculpts, but a lot of them were freaking ruined with those damn diaper pants. Dude, I hate those diaper underwears. They look awful. They just, it just totally throws off the entire scope that makes it look ugly and it was just so uncomfortable to like pose and stuff it's very like ratchety and i don't know um i really it just it just wasn't for me man i i do not i wasn't into his stuff at all if he keeps it at 1999 to 2499 cool all right more power to him and to that line you know if you like it I'm, I'm happy for you i'm not gonna you know crap on anyone for liking something so uh, I, I did want it to know for the prices, I, if I had to ask a question for the prices for Marvel Legends, I think that the $27.99 to the $33.99 price range for the single carded figures, I think those are only for the anniversary lines and not for the Build-A-Figure waves going forward, you know, um, although I did see someone else from Hasbro, uh, higher upper management say that there's going to be another price increase on top of the price increase that we already got uh so let me t again like i said i'm a diehard marvel legends fan but you know with all these price increases going on you guys know i'm a completist right well not anymore <laughs> now with these price hikes you know i'm definitely cutting back uh so will i still get waves in their build of figures yes i'll just sell the ones that i don't need like that Korg build a figure 
I don't need it. I already have Quirk. He should have never been the build a figure for that wave. Should have been Zeus. Russell Crowe's Zeus. Uh, as far as like MCU figures, um, you know, I'm still gonna get them, especially new characters. But I, I'm I'm only gonna stick to one version of the character on my shelf. I I feel like I don't need any more than that, unless I really really love, uh, you know, that costume or that look. But, um, yeah, I'm really behind on Marvel Legends. I, you guys know me. I'm always on top of that. But, you know, yeah, financially, it, you know, it's we're having a big financial problem around the world. So, uh, the Doctor Strange wave I'm behind. I know the Thor wave just came out. I'm behind on that. Uh, the 20th anniversary line, I'm behind on that. The uh, vintage uh, figures, like the White Vision, Scarlet Witch, Loki, all of those, I'm behind on that, too. So, yeah, <laughs> normally, you know, those would be in possession, but it's it's one of those things where, like, you know, I'm patient. I could wait it out. Yeah, so, we'll, we'll, see, we'll see what happens with the prices going forward. Uh, I do see a lot of people tapping out, and, hey, man, you got to do what you got to do. Just collect what you love. If you love Legends, then stick with Legends. Cool. Uh, if you want to collect something else, Cool with that. Hey, I freaking liquidated my Star Wars Black Series collection. I pretty much only kept the, uh, not not the Clone Wars. I sold that stuff, too. Uh, the Rebels, Star Wars Rebels, because I love that show. I did get the Bad Batch. I completed the team. Uh, and the Mandalorian. I'm really just sticking with the Mandalorian stuff because that's what I'm just so into right now in Star Wars. But, man, that Black Series team just fell off. Like, I think the Rancor really was the final nail in the coffin for me. Uh... <laughs> I think they fired the idiot who said, hey, let's give him cardboard for a unlockable tier. Like, I'm usually the person that doesn't wish anything bad on anyone. <laughs> but, dude, he, no one... He, that should not be freaking marketable. That should be automatic, included in the box, not as a sellable tier. Cardboard? No! Damn, hell no. And and I saw that live stream for May the 4th, and good lord, that was like their worst live stream ever. It was just like, oh, like, all right, cool, the Cantina band members, that's really cool. But if you want like a whole complete band, you're going to have to spend like at least $200. You know, we were getting good scopes, and we were getting double-jointed elbows and knees when the line first started. And then the last few years, they cut back and put single-jointed knees and elbows, like... The point is to upgrade, not downgrade, and they were just going backwards. And for the love of God, no freaking Jedi had alternate hands. Like, I, I wanted to take pictures of Star Wars figures so bad, but I really couldn't. Why am I going to take pictures of something I really cannot pull off? I want to do, like, a force push, uh, you know, and they don't come with those force push kind of hands. N not one Jedi, I don't think. Maybe Qui-Gon Jinn, maybe? Or Master Plo Koon, one of them, but... Yeah, man, it's just like, really? <laughs> really? This line is going to make 10 years next year, and I just did not see the improvement other than uh, the face print, and they took that from the Marvel Legends team, you know? Um, obviously, I know that stuff will carry over within uh, the Hasbro brand, but yeah, man, just not for me anymore, that's one of the lines I'm dropping, so I dropped that, and, uh, I dropped DC Multiverse, so let me know what lines you're dropping, you know, if you are keeping Marvel Legends or not, whatever, but anyway, I've been rambling on, and I know you guys want to see me open the figures, so let's get to it! Alright, so I really like the packaging for these army builders, I like that you can combine them together and create, like, this one big mural piece, I guess, it looks really, really cool. So um, let's start off, I guess, let's start off with the shield agents since that is the biggest pack out of all of them. And we'll put the hand ninjas aside and the scroll aside. I do have some figures on the side to do some swaps and stuff. So this is a different format I'm doing. Um, I'm, I'm thinking about doing live streams. So this might be my live stream setup. So I just want to kind of get a feel for it whenever I figure out how to do that, so, um, but, like, when I do, like, live streams, I guess, we'll just be doing this, unboxing figures of 
figures that I won't have time to review. <laughs> Mostly like the waves and stuff all together. So uh, let me take my exacto knife here. Um, another thing, going back to like price hikes, man. I really hope that the prices don't increase for the army builder packs. I, I wish I was able to ask that had I remembered. But um, yeah, the whole purpose of these were to be affordable. I mean, they were $14.99. You can't beat that for army builders. That's an amazing price. So what now? They're going to be $20, $25? It defeats the whole purpose of what they were meant to be. And that's, you know, low, affordable. So I, I am kind of worried that the price is going to go up on that. Uh, the packaging, I'm not a fan of the new packaging either. I know they gave us... Uh, uh, their answers and stuff, but I mean, that's just the way it's gonna be now, I guess, you know, it, I got no control over that, you know, so, uh, we'll see what happens, oh, shield figure, <laughs> it's funny how they just put them in, like, little bags and stuff, let's see, oh, this is all the weapons and accessories, yeah, so kind of like the Fortnite line, where it's all, like, boxed up and even Transformers, I noticed that that's the pattern, all the accessories are in this, like, little kind of you know, baggy kind of thing. Uh, I guess that's what Legends is going to look like now. We're going to get a little bag of accessories. Uh, so, all right, let me see the shield agent. Open him up. See what he's about. I mean, I already had the other shield agents from before. So, uh, I think... Oh, oh, he's got the silver visor. I see. And he's got more white because the other one had like a dirty wash. Let me just grab this. Uh, shield agent. Yeah, this one had a dirty wash. This is just a bright white, clean, very comic book looky kind of thing. And this one had, uh, yeah, this had gray shading on the white. That looks so good. I'm glad it's not blue. I, I don't know. Some people like the blue shading on white figures. I, I'm not a fan of that because it's just like, all right, if I'm wearing a white t-shirt, realistically, are you going to see blue? On my t-shirt. No. Unless I'm surrounded in a lighting that has like blue lights around it. So, you know, as a photographer, that's just one of my things. I like to create my own kind of lighting for it. Because if it's blue shading and then I try to do, you know, red light background or it, it, some other colored backgrounds, that blue is going to pop and not in a good way. It's just going to look bad. So, um, but I get it. Not everyone's a photographer. You know, um, you guys... Have your own things. We all have our own preferences, right? Whether it comes to shading or sculpting or whatever, articulation. Um, all right, same Bucky Cat mold. Yeah, this one has the gold visor. Visor. This one has the silver. And oh wow, it's a lot more sturdier than these. For some reason, you know, these had the wobbly leg syndrome, and I'm happy that this one doesn't, because that was one of the worst things about the Bucky Cat mold is that. It was hit or miss. You're either going to get one really tight or just very loose. All right, so. Oh, I, I can't be the only one that does this. That smells their figures. <laughs> brand new. That brand new freaking action figure smell. It's like plastic crack. <laughs> oh, man, this is, uh, all right. You know, it was like 33 bucks, I think, for this whole pack for a two pack which is really really good all right this one got the red visor on so i like that we're getting multiple colored visors uh, let's see the weapons here since i already know what these figures look like but yeah uh which uh which one do you guys like the most the red visor the silver one or the gold one um i, I like the silver because it goes it goes with the costume with the shield logo right here and silver but, you know, hey, red and gold, it's, it still works. So, preference-wise, I just like the silver. That looks dope. And here are the accessories. Oh, snap. We're getting weapons. I love weapons. I love me some weapons. Oh, these don't have the port in the front. Oh, yeah, because these are reused. This is the Hydra Gun one. This is the one that came with, I believe, yeah, one of the Hydra Army Builder packs. Probably came with another figure before that. Probably one of the shield agents too. I could be mistaken. And this is a more futuristic looking gun. This is... Yeah, I'm trying to remember where this is from. Looks like one of the MCU blasters. The one with this uh, red... Uh, 
uh, whatever this is, what ammo um, magazine, I guess, extra, extra magazine clip. Then he's got the uh, pistol. I really wish they had the ports in the front so we could put like blast effects on them. But oh my god, the extra hands. Oh snap, I love that. I really love that. You got a pointing finger here. Oh, this is this is super cool. Because this is one thing I want for army builders regardless. Um, and if they are going to raise the price on the... Uh, on the uh, army builder figures they better come with a bunch of hands so you got the pointing finger right there yeah i love that <laughs> so he's just like saying go or yelling out commands even the cyclops trigger hand right there you could use utilize that i think that's the cycle no that's not i think this came with the charles xavier from the house of x and uh you get fists too so I love that. Oh, man. I really love that. So you could just have a shield character just standing in vanilla pose, not being armed or anything. So I, I, I dig that. How many fists? Just, oh, just one pair of fists? Ah, I wish there was more than that. But it's all good because, you know, when you have multiples, you can do a lot of stuff. And then just, what, regular gripping hands? And, oh, man, the additional heads. I love this. This will definitely diversify and make your overall army builders look different. You know, I love variety. So, looks like we got a Spanish dude right here. Uh, we got a black dude here, which I am happy to have this one as I want to make a Gabriel Jones. So, what I did for uh, uh, temporarily... When that Black Panther figure that came out, I think it was a Civil War wave. This was before they were doing the face print. I put that T'Challa unmasked head on one of the shield agent bodies. It didn't look right. It kind of just, you know, sat too low. It looked like he had no neck. So I kind of had to, like, raise it a bit, use some uh, sticky tack so it, it looks like it's sitting properly on his neck. But, yeah. Oh, this is going to be my Gabriel Jones. This is, this is dope. I really like this. And then it looks like, uh, all right, we got an Asian dude. So, yeah, Asian dude, black dude, Spanish dude, and uh, I guess it's a white dude underneath this helmet. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing, I, at least. But I, I do like the fact that we can have unmasked shield agents. So, you know, I'm probably just going to display one each of these head. Not, I don't want them all looking the same, so... Cool, man. Uh, this is a dope set. You know me. I love army building. And uh, this is just a very, very cool set. I like this a lot. And you can put the pistol right here on the side. I still wish this freaking pistol right here on the bandolier was removable. But hey, man. This is, this is a dope pack. It's been a long time since we got the shield agents, I believe. Yeah, that Civil War wave. 2016? The Red Onslaught Build-A-Figure Wave. Yeah, I'm going to have a lot of fun posing these around. You know, if you want to do something dynamic like that. Like, you can get so many of them looking uh, different. And, oh, it's just... This is fun. This is what I love army building. This is why I love army building. It's just a ton of fun. That's another thing I dropped the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. Is that he didn't even have army builders. Um, not even one, I think. I guess the Robin Crow, and that's about it. But other than that, like, he didn't have any. And, you know, it was always the same damn thing over and over again. Batman, Batman, Batman. As much as Batman is my favorite superhero, I want to see different characters from DC. Because I love DC as well, you know? I love both Marvel and DC. I'm, I'm a superhero fan. So there's so many great characters in DC that I know he's just he's just not gonna tackle and that's that's what sucks that's why I like DC Universe Classics the best because it had the deep roster I'm, and that's the thing that gets me in collection like if I'm gonna collect the line I want to make sure it has a deep roster no one can give you the deep roster selection like the Hasbro Marvel Legends team does man but yeah I had to drop McFarlane man again I can't support the guy after I had a friend that told me how he is and how he treats his employees like shit. I could never, 
I can't stand by that, man. I could never support someone like that. So, and it sucks because this dude was like my favorite artist growing up, you know? I even met him in person, you know, nice guy to talk to and all that stuff. But I just, you know, I love him as an artist, uh, comic book artist, but as a toy maker, uh, nah. <laughs> you know, again, it's not, it's just not for me. I can't respect anyone who doesn't listen to their fans, but, you know, that's the one thing I do love about the Hasbro Marvel Legends team. More than any other team in Hasbro, they freaking listen. Uh, don't think they don't. These guys freaking listen. Man, I really love the play factor and variety to these, especially since I swapped all the different heads onto the body. Oh, man, this looks so freaking cool. Uh, you got the silver visor dude, which I showed you before. All right. Got this dude over here pointing the finger. Then we got our uh, Gabriel Jones. So I gave him the big gun right there. We have, uh, we got Rico Suave. <laughs> My boy Rico Suave. <laughs> Would have been funny if they packed in a Forge head without the bandana. Because uh, I remember Shardamus Prime when I first started watching him with his uh, I Cut You Hernandez gimmick. I'm like, yo, bring that dude back. That would have been great to see that. He used to crack me up with those skits of the I Cut You Hernandez. And we got the dude with the red visor. So yeah, man, this is, for the price point, yeah, th this is worth it. This is definitely worth it. We got way more than what we did last time than, you know, just the heads with the, what, the gold visor. And then it was Nick Fury and Dirk Anger that uh, had those swappable heads. So it's it's cool, man. I like that my shield army looks like it's just growing. Um, I just, I do like the blue color more on the new ones, though. I do like that. You know, the older ones were definitely a lot darker. Man, I hope Hasbro Post restocked these because they sold out real quick. Do the hand ninjas next. And um, I want to see how these came out in the black. These look dope from what I saw in the images. But uh, I believe they have like a more like ghoulish looking face. All right. Figure in the bag. Accessories in the bag. And yeah. Oh, snap. Yeah, they definitely look more uh, zombified, I guess. But, uh, you know, since they're uh, mystical ninjas, makes sense. So if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, if my camera can focus, which I don't think it will. But yeah, you can see it looks a little decrepit, I guess. So he's got that kind of gray flesh tone. I actually enjoyed posing those uh, hand ninjas. Uh, you know, they were fun. I wish they just had a little more, um, a little more movement. I do appreciate the double diaphragm joint, though. That, to me, was the big one. I think my biggest gripe with them was the size. They're pretty big ninjas, man. <laughs> like, they are really, really big. I just wish they were a little bit smaller. Yeah, they were, they were fun to pose, man. I, I really dig them. No ninjas beat the, uh, for me, it was the Red Cobra ninjas. I like the articulated icons ninjas a lot. Because, I mean, you can't beat that fun factor with all the swappable arms and, you know, heads, hands, all that options, all the weapons and stuff. Yeah, that was just so much fun. But the Cobra ninjas, man, those were the best. Like... I even put a hand ninja head on top of that just to make it look like, you know, this could be like the leader of my hand ninjas, like the commander or something like that. Which it would have been cool if the Marvel Legends hand ninjas came with an alternate Nabu head. Uh, excuse me, Nobu. If they had Nobu, man, that would have been dope because I would have popped that on here since uh, he has that kind of like armored look. But oh, I love these. If they gave us, if they give us a. Uh, black cobra ninjas then you best believe i'm putting this head on one of them they're giving us blue cobra ninjas and that two pack is really cool one that has the oni mask uh so i'll definitely be copying those but yeah hand ninja same accessories we get the uh the sword and you could put in his uh sheave right here and then we got the uh what do you call these again commas right Definitely a different color scheme because let me pull the red, the older red ninja right there. And this one's black and gray. This is more of a beige and uh, 
Is it metallic color? Can't tell with the lights. It looks like it looks like that regular silver shiny kind of plastic, but it still looks good, man. Uh, so I, I again, these hand ninjas are so much fun to pose, especially when you could get them in a nice squatting, ninja striking kind of pose, and they're a lot of fun. And he does have alternate hands, which are open. I wish he had fists because ninjas can punch too you know <laughs> they do all sorts of fighting but yeah this is this is really cool with the gray boots now the reason why i wish they were smaller is because i would have loved to make these uh the league of shadows so league of assassins would have been dope for my batman but i i think he's just way too big to go up against my mate ma excuse me mafex batman but the articulated icon ninjas are best for that i have a few black ninjas there that it just looks and scales so well with each other i'm pretty positive that we're gonna get white ninjas after these all right so the hand ninjas if you have the last one then you pretty much know what to expect with these just a different color deco obviously the black and the gray but i gotta say i think i'm feeling the black more than the red one i don't know uh, it, I think the black ones look cooler. They just look so freaking cool. They really give me like a League of Assassins kind of vibe. So I don't know. Um, at first I thought I wasn't going to like them as much as this. Because, you know, it's just a repaint basically. And I actually like the way these guys look more. I don't know. But it just looks freaking cool. They look badass. Alright, let's put this aside and get... To the scrolls is the one I've been waiting for the most. Oh man, these, I know I'm gonna love these. So this one is on the Sunfire body, I believe. And oh look, all the weapons are in one bag. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll just, oh man, yes, yes. That, that looks like a scroll, man. Look at that, look at this dude. He looks straight up like a scroll. Damn, I want more than five. <laughs> oh, man. Damn. All right. So, yeah, Sunfire Mold, and which, you know, I'm happy about because that body is super friendly to articulate, and it's just a lot of fun to get a lot of, you know, stylized poses. And we do get some new weapons with these guys. All right, some alien tech weapons. So you can see this big like pulse rifle and then we get the classic kind of uh scroll looking blaster so that looks freaking cool looks like a hair dryer oh that's cool it has a port in the front so i could like oh both of them have ports in the front so i could put some blast effects yes i love that and let me see here he comes with an alternate head too yes got some grinning teeth that's nice one thing i would love to see is uh the scroll heads on the uh some of the avengers bodies so i'm gonna take this dude's head and put it on captain america and see how that looks check that out if they ever do like an avengers accessory pack it would be nice to see like the scroll like under the actual captain america helmet and like iron man with like the flipped up face plate over his helmet with a scroll underneath that that would be so freaking cool love the the colors the purple and the dark purple if only they had alternate hands that would have been the winner right there for sure i got my super scroll here so i can have him next to them so you can see like a good size comparison but i do like that he's bigger i mean he's supposed to be bigger however if you don't want this guy a super scroll you could just pop the smaller uh, arms and powered down arms i should say and put the uh, other head on and that way it looks like a kind of brute enforcer kind of scroll you know and you could just leave your super scroll as this to give it some more variety in the collection but you know it's a it's a good size i do wish the super scroll was a little bit bigger though just a little bit bigger they look great all together now they really need to come out with kree soldiers like that's got to be the next army builder pack, especially since they're heavy into the cosmic stuff this year, too. Um, you know, with the release of everything being centered around Galactus, we should get more cosmic stuff. But this is... <clears throat> I'm 
definitely gonna have to get more than five. I'm gonna have to find a way to get like five more. That's usually like my army building max is uh, five, excuse me, 10. That's usually my army building max. Um, the smallest I would go for is like a four to six. All right, so here are the scrolls, man. And uh, we opened about, what, 16 figures in total here? <laughs> it's a lot of figures, but yeah, I'm happy with a lot of these. I do hope that Hasbro Pulse puts the scrolls back up. Uh, I know a lot of people missed out on that, and I feel like they should bring it back up. But I'm afraid if they do, it's not going to be for, what, the $14.99 that they originally priced it as. I feel like they'll probably raise the price on that, and that, you know, that kind of sucks. But like I said, in my interview, I really wanted uh, to ask the question so bad, but their PR team... They ask for questions to be submitted, and they won't approve those uh, questions that are in regards to pricing and all that stuff. So there is a guideline to follow. And again, I apologize. I can't stress that enough. You know, that's out of my control. But the most important thing I feel is to give you... I want to be informative. You know, I wanted to give you uh, some info. I try to get some info out of them, trying to plant those seeds, you know. Uh, especially you know, when I brought up Bonesaw McGraw from the first Spider-Man film, you know, it was cool to, you know, get some info on that and then getting Dwight to want a two-pack, excuse me, three-pack with Bruce Campbell, uh, one as the referee, the other one as, like, uh, the waiter and uh, one of his other roles. And I was just like, oh, man, in my head, I'm thinking, let's make that a three-pack for... Uh, a ring announcer Bruce Campbell and the pro wrestling suit Spider-Man against Macho Man Randy Savage, Bone Soul McGraw. That would be epic. So, you know, then you did say, hey, you know, for characters we want like that, start a campaign. So, yeah, let's start a freaking campaign to get Bone Soul McGraw because I would love uh, to get that figure. That's my dream movie figure for Marvel Legends is a Bone Soul McGraw. That would be my number one. If you saw my Spider-Man top 10 Spider-Man videos of uh, other media that I want to see in Marvel Legends. That was my number one. Uh, let me know if you guys enjoyed this format. If you want to see more of this, you know, I don't mind doing it at all. I think this was fun, especially when I don't have time to review. You know, just to get some content out there. Uh, you know, chill with you guys, engage with you guys. I love doing that. You know, get my numbers up in YouTube too because I, I do want to get paid as well, you know. <laughs> so uh yeah it's it's this was fun and again i'm thinking about doing a live stream so if you're down for that let me know because i would like to do a dr strange wave unboxing and talk about the dr strange movie because that was epic and i'll probably do it at a time where like you know all the spoilers are you know already out there and we could just talk about whatever instead of me holding my breath because I want to talk about it so bad because <laughs> there was a lot of surprises but I don't want to spoil it so I hope you guys see it I hope you loved it I loved it I gave, I gave it a 10 out of 10 in every universe like <laughs> that movie lived up to the subtitle with uh the name madness because it was and my god yeah I could go on and on and I'll probably do something like that maybe well, with Thor, Love, and Thunder as well as the movies come out. I think, I think that would be a pretty cool thing to do. What do you guys think? Just let me know. So, all right. Well, that was my long-ass unboxing video. I hope you enjoyed it, you know. And I'll uh, see you on the next video. Peace, peace.